All right, folks, thanks for tuning in to the first episode of the PreservedPantry.com video blog. In this episode, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to make a ham from scratch, starting with a fresh ham. Or if you can't get your hands on a fresh ham, you can also use, like I'm doing in this, in this video, I'm using uh, a picnic shoulder. First step, you're going to get a large pan big enough to hold the whole ham. Uh, you're going to put a gallon of water in it and then you're going to add your salt, your dark brown sugar, and your pink salt. I always use a scale. Instead of measuring those by volume, I find uh, the volume especially of salt can vary greatly from brand to brand, especially with the kosher salt, which, you want, which is what you want to be using here. But if you do it by weight, you always get consistent results. So you can see my scale here in the video. Um, once you've added those ingredients, you're going to want to put the heat on high, and keep stirring until everything is dissolved. And you can tell it's dissolved because you won't feel anything on the bottom of the pan with the spoon. Uh, you want to get it just up, right up until boiling. You don't actually have to boil it though. Done. The salt and everything is completely dissolved. We're going to want to take this and put it in the refrigerator and hold it for two or three hours until it's cooled completely. It's very important that your brine is cold because A, you don't want to cook the ham before you cure it. And B, the ham will absorb the cure much better if it's cold. If you're getting your ham or your picnic shoulder or whatever you're using from a butcher shop, you can ask them to remove all the skin for you. It makes it a lot easier. If you're not, you can remove the skin yourself. Just use a sharp knife and make sure you leave as much fat as possible on the ham. You don't want to take off any more fat than you absolutely have to because that's going to keep it nice and moist when we're cooking it. Once you've got your skin trimmed off, you're going to want to flip it over. Make sure there's no blood clots on the other side. Uh, they're kind of unattractive after you're done cooking it. So just trim those off, and then your ham should be all set. Now you take your ham, and you put it into the pan. You make sure that you don't have too much liquid in there, because if you do, you're going to make a mess. So you want, it to, you want enough so that you can easily submerge the ham with at least a half an inch or so of liquid on top of it. The more, the better. But like I said, make sure you don't make a mess. Once you got your ham in there, take a couple of heavy plates and put them on top. That'll keep it submerged because anything that's above the liquid is not going to absorb the cure. Thanks for tuning in, guys, and make sure you come back in about a week or so uh, for the next episode in which I'll be showing you how to take this ham and hot smoke it, glaze it, and get it ready for your Christmas dinner.